Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we get our appetites ready for Detroit Restaurant Week. We sample the sweets of Detroit's legendary Greek town, and then we hit the links at the Fieldstone Golf Course, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. Hey, did you know that downtown Detroit has over 100 restaurants and we are downtown to get a little sample of Detroit Restaurant Week and see what some of these fine dining establishments have to offer. What exactly does Restaurant Week mean? Restaurant Week is a program that we've worked on with the restaurants to provide a three course fixed price meal for the mm -hmm. low price of $30. Uh, per person, mm -hmm. and it allows them a chance to come to a restaurant that maybe they've never even heard of before. It's great for vegetarians too. Every restaurant has a vegetarian course, okay. and a lot of restaurants provide wine pairing with it so that if you're new to fine dining, or whether you're an experienced veteran, there's something for you at each of our restaurants of which there's a, a wide variety. You've got three places lined up for me to sample today, mm -hmm. correct? What are they? Absolutely. We've got uh, Roma Cafe over in the Eastern Market, mm -hmm. uh, Detroit Seafood Market behind us here in uh, Paradise Valley, and then we also have 24 Grill over at the Book Cadillac Hotel. All right, well, I'm gonna get my taste buds salivating and mm, I'll go try some too. of these great, <laughs> great things. Thank you so much, Thank Dana. You. So up first on our stop for Detroit Restaurant Week is Roma Cafe. I'm right at the tip of Eastern Market on Riopelle, and this restaurant has been here forever. They're a legendary, authentic Detroit Italian restaurant serving up authentic cuisine. It's gonna be so good. Let's go inside and take a look. been here since 1890. What's the recipe for your success? Well, besides our wonderful spaghetti sauce, uh -huh. um, I just think it's a feeling of making this place always seem like home. My mother is Sicilian and my father is Northern Italian, okay. so this is kind of a blend. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a little bit of both dishes on the menu. Take me on a little tour? Sure. The Roma is divided into, into three separate rooms. This is the entranceway when you come in, and mm -hmm. our old coat room. Uh, been there for years and years with a secret little window in there that used to be used during Prohibition oh. to look into the bar area. How fun. The back bar is uh, actually older than the restaurant. We refer to this as the upstairs dining room, just up a few steps. Then this room is also used lunch and dinner. dinner. Okay. Then in this room, we call it the Vatican room because we have the picture of the Vatican in the back. Oh. Okay, well, I this was completely unplanned, but if I were here, this is exactly what I would order. Oh. A calamari <laughs> and gnocchi all the way, my favorite Italian dishes. And these are on the menu for restaurant Yes, week. both are. The cal fried calamari and the gnocchi all up with the palomino sauce. It is one of the vegetarian items. Mm -hmm. I'm not a vegetarian, but it's one of my favorites. <laughs> items also. Looks so lightly battered. We do it in a very light batter mm -hmm. and uh, not a heavy uh, crust on it. Mmm. It was so light. Mmm. Mm. It's one of our biggest sellers. It's wonderful. It's, it's one of my son's favorite dishes too. Calamari and good. chicken. And he's a little boy. That's great. That's great. <laughs> that is fabulous. And then this, you say a palomino sauce. This is. It is a one tomato of, uh, mm -hmm. with a light, very light cream and basil in it, mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of a, 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 a tomato sauce on top of it. So mm. our uh, gnocchis are homemade. Wow and not so frozen. delicate so. so light this is just fabulous and restaurant week is just a great reason to come in here and sample these dishes and more for just a really a great deal thank you mm-hmm mm, it's fabulous manja <laughs> manja <laughs> and our second stop is right here in paradise valley at the detroit seafood market Yeah, fresh seafood, mm -hmm. and we prep it all here, so it comes in raw and, and fresh. We just love what we're doing here. I was noticing these booths back here. That's yeah, those, one a great a place of, for a romantic we dinner. We get a lot of requests for those booths. I just love the exposed brick and the mural. I mean, it's really a beautiful we place. Kept, we kept everything pretty much the way it was a long time ago. We just cleaned it up a little bit. and. Just try to make it really nice and romantic. And so you've got this beautiful bar too. Do you know? Do you do a happy hour? We do a happy hour. You do. Okay. Man, oh my God, it's busy. <laughs> 
a busy happy hour. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong. It's half off on all the drinks and all the appetizers. We have a special menu for it. And then we also do on a Wednesday night, all you can eat crab legs. So that's outside of restaurant week. You're that's just, you're, you're doing week. promotions and we deals. Do, we do a lot of promotion, a lot of good deals. We make good food. You make good food, we which brings food. me to, that's what I'm here for. I want to see some of the selections that you're offering for Detroit Restaurant Week. Okay. Can we do that? Uh, yes. Oh, well, Chef Leonardo, this looks fabulous. And you know, seafood is one of my favorite things to eat. And this is part of what you can get for Detroit Restaurant this Week. This is a small part of it, yes. This is a small part. So then if you flip over your Detroit Restaurant Week menu, you've got recommended wines on the back, yes, correct? Yes, we paired, we paired a few good wines with our entrees. Mm -hmm. For an additional $20, you get three glasses of different wines of your selection. Well, that's nice. So you, you're like doing the work for the customer and Correct. it's a good value and you get three different ones that come in each course. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> not, not a bad deal either. No, it's not. <laughs> this would be your appetizer and what yes. this is one of Those four. Those are crab croquettes. Crab croquettes. And, mm -hmm. and that's made with a lump crab meat, mm -hmm. blue lump crab meat, uh, a little bit of seasoning and spices in it and we serve it with a uh, uh, sweet so. chili sauce. Oh, with a, little, with a little kick to it then. Yes, it, it does. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. Oh, it's got a kick. It's a spice. It's yes. wonderful. Oh, that works so well together. This dish here is what we have is we have lobster meat. We saute that mm -hmm. along with a little, just a touch of garlic and a little white wine and heavy cream. <laughs> and then we, we, fin we, to we toss it all together with fettuccine pasta and mm -hmm. a little Parmesan cheese. Okay, now I'm going to taste this. Mmm. Oh, it's heavenly. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. Oh, this is just cooked perfection. Thank you. Oh, I taste the garlic in there and the yes. cream. Oh, it's wonderful. We have our triple chocolate mousse torte. It's too pretty to eat. Yes, there's three different chocolates here. You have a white chocolate, then we have like a mocha chocolate, and then <gasps> a chocolate cake oh, on the bottom. Chocolate. Yes. You knew I was coming. Yes. You put it on the menu just for me. Mmm. Well, chocolate and raspberry sauce. Mmm. Oh, that is just perfect. That's a perfect ending to just a perfect meal. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Given this wonderful taste of Detroit Restaurant Rank, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to indulge Go a little right bit ahead more and here. Enjoy. <laughs> mm. So I'm on Washington Boulevard, right outside the Western Book Cadillac, right next to Michael Simon's Roast. And yes, he's part of Restaurant Week, but there's also another restaurant in here called 24 Grill. They're part of Restaurant Week too. So come on, let's go inside and check it out. We're on the first floor of the Western Book Cadillac. Uh, we serve lunch and dinner. We serve Sunday brunch. Oh. Uh, we have beautiful happy hour of offerings Monday through Friday from 3 to 6.30. Well, I love the huge bar. Plenty yep. of uh, seats for happy hour. <laughs> yeah, lots of seats for happy hour. The decor is kind of an urban chic. You have the crystal chandeliers. Yeah. Uh, these beams here, they're actually original um, structure pieces for the hotel. I like this this beautiful line. Shattered glass. Our shattered up. glass <laughs> wall. And then this is our actual, the main dining room for the restaurant. The main dining room. <laughs> so this is the private dining room the champagne bar. We can do a seated dinner in here for up to 35 guests. Yeah, it's a cool little space. We run it out for someone that just wanted to have, you know, propose and have oh, their own little champagne nice. dinner. Yes. What do we have here? So we have the apple salad, which is actually my favorite menu on the salad. Mixed greens with pickled strawberries, some Granny Smith apple hazelnuts, a little bit of cheese, and an apple cider vinaigrette. This is an all, all year long thing yes. that we can get. Yes, it is. Looks really good. Mmm. Oh, a little Good tangy. Stuff. It's very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gets you right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And a pickled strawberry. A pickled strawberry. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that yeah. adds a nice tang. Oh, that's delicious. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Mm. <laughs> this is our duck confit, duck leg. It's being served with a uh, oh, cauliflower, ra yes. cauliflower raisin puree, a little wilted spinach, and some pine nuts. Now, is this something that is on your menu year long as well, or is this um, a special for It makes time? occasional appearances on our dinner menu, okay. but it's not here all Yeah, around. duck is not something you yeah. see on menus too often here. I'll try a little bite with you. Mmm, well, that is very good. What a nice reason, too, to come down just to try something kind of different. And Absolutely. This, this is, is one of our desserts. A, a work of art. It is. It's a jiggly work of art. Uh, this is our buttermilk panna cotta. It's a bacon berry compote. Bacon? Bacon. Berry compote. Huh. Yep. And garnished with a fresh mint leaf. So, 
this is this is this is exciting and new for me. I just hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. That is wonderful. Good, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Woman, thank okay. you so much. <laughs> thank you. It was very nice to meet you. Fabulous, and I'm going to go back to it. Yeah, finish. Enjoy. <laughs> I expect three clean plates. <laughs> so, hey, we're known for great cuisine in the D, so check out what our innovative chefs are doing during Detroit Restaurant Week and just one more reason to come experience downtown. <laughs> I'm in one of Detroit's most well-known neighborhoods, historic Greek town. It's been here for years and it's a great neighborhood and actually it's more than that, it's a destination. It was established way back in the 1880s and it's one of the last Victorian era commercial districts in all of downtown Detroit, which lucky for us means there's lots of great photo opportunities. If you look at the architecture, you've got the flags and the lights going across the street. Make sure you bring your camera. There are so many great photo ops here, look at that. People come here just to walk the streets. It's pedestrian friendly. They've got authentic Greek restaurants that still serve real Greek food. Besides the authentic Greek restaurants, we've got a whole array of other kinds of foods to eat. They've got a pizza place. They've got fish bones that serves great seafood. You can get fried alligator there, sushi. They've got a place that serves barbecue. And they've got a sweet side. They've got a wonderful pastry shop. The Astoria Pastry Shop has been a staple here on Monroe Street for years. Come on. Well, Tasso, hi, I'm hi. so excited to be in here. Hi, nice to have you here. <laughs> you, you, you are really the epitome of Greek town. You've been here for yeah. years, you're a staple. People come just to come into your bakery shop. Yeah, we're an institution, <laughs> I would say. Uh, we've been here 42 years, my mom started it. A kid in a candy store, this is an adult in a bakery store. Yeah. <laughs> it's just wonderful. Thanks, we have about 100 different items oh my. that we sell. Um, a lot of them are Greek, but a lot of them are not. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of customers, obviously, who are not Greek. Yeah, um, so like, what are some of the favorite Greek Greek dessert. Baklava is the number one Greek dessert. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the cookies, like the kurabia, that's a uh, wedding cookie, a Greek wedding cookie. Oh, okay. And there's a honey cinnamon cookie down there that's a uh, Christmas cookie. Those oh, are delicious. This is like a traditional, a traditional wedding? Traditional wedding cookie, cookie. yeah. Mmm, mm. mm, my goodness. Those are really mm. good. Oh, it's so light. I love it. Kind of. I taste the butter in yeah, it. Yeah, it's all, it's all butter. It's, it's all, all butter. butter. Yeah, it's <laughs> Just all butter what I cookie. need, right? Yeah, it stays soft. <laughs> Once in a while, moderation is the key, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it would be the key if we did it. <laughs> the reason we put a window in the back of the kitchen is so people can walk up to it and watch people make it. You know? Now that so. is the... Mm. Cloves and cinnamon. That's nice. Tasting. And I yeah. like the nuts on top. Mm -hmm. And of course, baklava, sticky. Yeah. But this is just, I love baklava. Yeah. And that baklava with is made with walnuts. Walnuts, okay. Mm -hmm. that, is yeah. that, so that's your traditional that, way? Yeah, then, traditionally baklava is made with walnuts, mm. but you can make it with, with a lot of mm. different nuts. Oh my goodness, that is so yummy. All that sticky goodness. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had the Greeks, you, you yeah. brought in an, a sort of an American restaurant into Greek town. It's yeah. barbecued. It's Red Smoke. Right. When we opened this restaurant, there were seven Greek restaurants here. Mm -hmm. So not only were all of those Greek restaurants my friends that I didn't want to compete yeah. with, 
but we wanted to renovate this building. So one of the things we decided to do was do something totally different. So we have more people coming in in the area yeah. uh, who don't want Greek food. So we opened up the barbecue restaurant. Still a fun place to visit, but oh, uh, some barbecue. Some Can we yeah. check it out? Yeah. Well, this is beautiful. You, you guys just completely redid this. This building was uh, 60 feet. And we added another 40 feet. And then we left the old walls yeah. up. And that's the old roof, too. Wonderful character. Yeah. And we sell oh, only Michigan beers here, only oh. Michigan draft beers. So how's the barbecue here? Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> we smoke all our own meats, uh, brisket, pulled pork, uh, baby back ribs, regular ribs. We make our own andouille sausage, which is delicious. Oh, wow. uh, the chicken is uh, marinated in apple juice and soy sauce overnight. Yeah. And then smoke that. It's one of the best things. Yeah, and you get a, two, two and a half pounds of chicken in one serving. Oh that's my a goodness, huge, that's, that's a sinful. Huge, yeah, it's a huge amount. <laughs> this little treat that we've got here, we've yeah, got. These just came out of the smoker, and these oh, are uh, baby back ribs mm -hmm. and uh, regular spare ribs. Wow, they are huge and meaty. Yeah. Now, and then in your different sauces, the red smoke, do you think I can handle this? Oh, I don't know. The red smoke <laughs> is pretty hot. I'm going to try it. We'll see. Um, and that's red smoke. We have uh, roasted poblano and Memphis mm. mud, which is really sweet, and cherry molasses. That's our Michigan um, sauce. And then we have a mustard sauce, too. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the really spicy. I'm going to yeah, go okay. for it, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so what do you have? So it's, it's yeah, it has a mm, kind of hot. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Where's the water? Mm. No, you drink, oh, you drink beer good. with beer. that. Oh, better, yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't drink water in here. <laughs> I can have beer. These are delicious. They are yeah. so meaty. Yeah. Want to try cherry. the cherry molasses? That yeah. goes well with those ribs. Yeah. Uh, when I eat them, I don't eat I don't eat, no. usually, usually use the sauce. Mm, that's fabulous. What a wonderful yeah. treat. Can I have a doggy bag for these? Because yeah. I can't eat them all, but Absolutely. they are fabulous. Yeah. Everyone leaves here wait. with a doggy bag because they can't eat well, all the dinner. Well, I guess so. The amount of food you're giving people is yeah. insane. So I've been sent down here, I've been told that this is the place to get an authentic gyro, just like they serve in Greece at the Golden Fleece. Come on. This is your typical Greek street food, where you find every corner in Greece, in any region, any part of Greece. Uh, this is a gyro, authentic lamb, okay. and shish kebab. You see it, you smell it, you grab a piece, and you walk out of the door. There's no waiting, there's no sit down, you just grab it. It usually comes in the road up in the pita bread mm -hmm. with uh, french fries inside, tomatoes, onions, and tzatziki sauce. French Lots fries of, inside of yes, it? Yes, oh. really good. Mmm. 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 Oh, like cucumber sauce. Mmm. Yum. Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Mmm. Yum. Thanks, honey. Thank <laughs> I'll you. see you. I'll see you. Before you go, let me show you something. Oh, okay. So you have the authentic Euro sandwich. Yes. Uh, how about some ouzo? You familiar with ouzo? It's uh, licorice. Greek, Greek licorice, that's right. Licorice, okay. And so you said you grab the sandwich and you go, you press the button. Get out of town. A shot of ouzo when you go. Yamas. <laughs> Yamas. Uh, Yamas? That's exactly. Yamas. <laughs> Are you going to join me? I guess actually. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell my boss. <laughs> Yamas. Yamas. Mm. Oh, that's Opa. good. It's chilled. Yum. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> so Greek Town has so much more than Greek food. They've got a great street for walking, lots of lively entertainment, and of course, everywhere you go, you're greeted with that warm Greek hospitality. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. VegFest is a vegetarian's delight with a taste fest and expo, and the wildly unique Blue Man Group plays at the Fisher. The Meshuga Nun stars Cindy Williams at Meadowbrook, and downtown Rochester celebrates Earth Day. Thomas the Tank Engine rolls into Greenfield Village, and the Harry Potter parody at City Theater is fun for all ages. The Illusionists perform mind-blowing magic at the Fisher, and the Metro Times Blowout features over 200 bands. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. I'm an Auburn 
Hampton Hills on a very windy but still gorgeous summer day at the Fieldstone Golf Club where golf pro Gordon Marmion is going to show us a few of his favorite holes. Oh, you golf pro Gordon. <laughs> this is sort of your course, the Fieldstone Golf, Cor golf Club. Yes, Fieldstone Golf Club uh, opened in 1998. We've been around for quite a number of years. Yeah. It's a tough golf course. It, you have to play your ball from point A to point B to score well out here. Mm -hmm. Not not deceiving by any means and not unforgiving. Plenty of uh, room to hit it off the tee and into the uh, wider fairways, mm -hmm. but it does narrow up as we approach the greens. And of course, there's multiple tee boxes to suit your right. level of play. It's par 72, 18 uh, hole golf course Eight, mm -hmm. designed uh, by Arthur Hills in 1998, as I discussed earlier. Yeah. What we do is, is host a lot of tournaments, mm -hmm. leagues, outings, probably one of the finest municipal golf courses in Michigan. Uh, ranked among the top three in Detroit metropolitan area out of 200 golf courses. And you've got a restaurant and a retail shop, pro shop? Yep, golf shop, mainly apparel. We don't do a lot of equipment out of the out of the golf shop. The Vista Grill is our restaurant. We seat approximately 72 in the grill room. Okay. We have a boardroom that people utilize for private meetings that seats about 24. Oh, nice. Outdoor patio, we get a ton of lunch business on a daily basis. And then our larger golf functions go on the, uh, in our outdoor variety. Miranda, that seats up to 160. And so what, what would you say, Gordon, are some of your favorite holes if you had to pick? We're sitting here on number eight, very challenging. Let's see how you fare today let's, on hole let's number eight. Let's give it a shot and see if I can put one on the green. So what are you doing to prepare for this? 227 yard <laughs> par three. I, I, you're not filming I'm, all this, you're I'm killing me. I'm fully <laughs> confident in it. <laughs> now 227, this is what we call our professional tee out at Fieldstone. I wouldn't recommend these tee boxes for anybody over a four handicap. So it slopes at 142 from the gold tees, uh, just up in front of us about 20 yards. Let's put a good move on it. So this is where well, you're? Go. Yes. Now I, I missed my shot off the tee to the right. But you're a good need. trooper too because you're not moving the ball. This is really where it yes, landed. We'll play the ball as it lies. <laughs> But very typical what you'll find out at Fieldstone when you miss a green. Mm -hmm. It will work your short game to death. I've got to get it up and over, get it close to that pin, and get a one putt in here. I'm back out of the way. Yes, you're doing fine. I haven't hit one dead right in a few years. Not as close as I thought I'd get, <laughs> but still working. Oh, look at that. Oh, so close. <laughs> so fit for uh, a no warm up on one of the toughest par threes in Oakland County. So, this is number nine? Yes. How many yards? Uh, we're at 414 yards from the professional tee. Okay. Wow, and so this is a par five? Par four. Par four. Par four. I'm just going to gonna find those straight lines, that shortcut fairway out there. Stay away from the bunkers, stay away from the long heather. Mm -hmm. Just put one right down the middle and make our job very easy. Okay, and I'll today. be your cheerleader over Thank here on the side. Thank you so much. I'm going to need it today. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm just going to try to find the middle of this green. This fairway is going to slant me a little right. The wind's going to feed a little bit right, so I hope all those things work into my favor. I've got about 130 to get to the center of the green here. Missed that one a little. Missed my approach shot. Hit a little thin, a little bit right. Not too much recovery, though. Nope, I'm going to zip my lip you know, and let you do your thing. Most of the game is learning how to manage our misses, and that's what I'm trying to do today. Manage some of my missed shots so we don't have to score too high. So a little chip and run back in my stance, hands forward, weight forward, and it should just bounce out and run to the hole. Nice, nice and easy here. Wow. Oh, I thought you were going to get it. That's <laughs> close. Inside left edge this time should be nice and easy. Ah. One par, one bogey. Typical towards Fieldstone Golf Course. It will get you when you are going to sleep out here. <laughs> We're on number nine. We're just going to make the turn, head off to number ten. 
This quick turn drive, you can see how we line up our carts for outings, for leagues. Very busy facility. Yeah. We hope to have you out here soon. All right, well, Gordon, it's been fun. Pleasure. <laughs> Thank Absolute you. Pleasure. And he's Thank the man so out here at Fieldstone Golf Club in Auburn Hills. You want to get lessons? Get them from the pro here. I think I'll be back for lessons. We had a great time today. <laughs> Thank you so much. that's our show thanks for watching i'm veronica vance and remember if you would like more information on any of the places we visited log on to visitdetroit.com so until i see you next time go out and explore on your own and discover the d to learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions plus how to get copies of visit detroit magazine click on visitdetroit.com Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.